Hello and welcome to part two of why I was forced to leave Christianity and convert to Islam. This is a response uh, to ISAM's B's video. Different things of this nature. These proofs to me uh, told me that Christianity could not be the formal religion that God had sent down for mankind. That there must be something wrong with this message. And then also with looking at the prophets in the Old Testament that Noah was being called a drunkard and Hold on, Noah was called a drunkard by other people, so what? They were making fun of him because he was building an ark, and they said, oh, you must be drunk. Does that mean he was a drunk? Oh, so because the Bible records the truth and things as they are that people are calling Noah names, that means that it's untrue? You did not do an in-depth study of the Bible. You barely even knew it. And I don't know what foolish church accepted you to be a youth pastor. You know, all of these things said to me that, you know, this could not be the example that was given to me of how to live my life. This could not be a man of God. God so if, if, if outside people make fun of Muhammad, this means he can't be a man of God? If I say... Well, actually, anything that I do say, I can back up with the Quran and the Hadiths if I, well, what they call an insult to him. You know, everything filthy he did, he did. He dressed up in women's clothing to get revelation from Allah. He had sex with his dead aunt. He, he, had, he had sex with Aisha when she was nine years old. He was a pedophile, a cross-dresser, and a necrophilia. And I can prove each one from the Sahih books. In fact, let me do so. Here's the proof that he was uh, a pedophile. Sahih Muslim 008, number 3310. Aisha, Allah be pleased with her, reported, Allah's apostle, may peace be upon him, married me when I was six years old, and I was admitted to his house when I was nine years old. Sahih Bukhari, Volume 7, Book 62, Number 64, narrated Aisha that the Prophet married her when she was six years old and he consummated his marriage when she was nine years old and then she remained with him for nine years till his death. Sahih Bukhari, books, Volume 7, Book 62, Number 65, narrated by Aisha that the Prophet married her when she was six years old and consummated his marriage when she was not when she was nine years old Himism said I have been informed that Aisha remained with the Prophet for nine years till his death what you know of the Quran by heart and all of these then we have a story here in Bukhari about Abu Bakr um, and and talking about Aisha you know not wanting him to marry her, and Sahih Bukhari, uh, Volume 7, Book 18, narrated by Ursa. The Prophet asked for Abu Bakr for Aisha's hand in marriage. Abu Bakr said, But I am your brother. The Prophet said, You are my brother in Allah's religion and his book, but she, Aisha, is lawful for me to marry. Yes, in fact, in Islam, you're allowed to marry young girls. From the Quran, here's teaching on how to divorce. As you see, I'm at the official government website for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. This is not a Christian website, not made by the Christians against Islam. And we'll see exactly what it has to say. If you turn with me to... Chapter 65 and verse 4. Such of your women as have passed the age of monthly courses, for them the prescri prescribed period, if ye have any doubts, is three months. And for those who have no courses, it is the same. For those who carry life within their wounds, their period is until they deliver their burdens. And for those who fear Allah, he will make their path easy. This is talking about divorce. So for people who have their period, it's three months. If you have any doubts, 
and for those little children who don't have any periods it's still three months and for those who have children it's after they deliver their child chapter 65 verse 4 now I also said that Muhammad had sex with his dead aunt okay so I said Muhammad had sex with his dead aunt here we are at Sahih Muslim 3 4 4 24 I put on her my cloth to let her wear the cloth of paradise and I had sex with her to ease the grave suffering on her she was the best of God's creations after Fatima the mother of Ali Muhammad said that when he got caught sleeping with a dead woman, and that woman was his aunt, Muhammad the Necrophilia Hadith, 4721, and this is the official website of Saudi Arabia, where you can read about it. And let me post the link. So, I don't know what I could say about Muhammad to try and insult him that isn't true like how we were talking about with Noah because every filthy thing he could do oops and the funny that this is the hadith is called is the F word Al Bukhari and the book is the F word book like imagine if a little child is is at um and I'll just leave it open here is that the library uh, an Islamic library and they're studying this and this is a holy religion of God and it has an the F word book what are you studying oh I'm studying the F word book mother ah oh, mashallah mashallah what kind of religion is this you 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 joined you have no idea what you joined and the proof of that is you're saying salam you're saying peace to the infidels to the kufars uh, you can pause the video and read through this if you can read Arabic or you what you can do is here's the link just copy this down as it is I'll put it in the side and you can copy it all and go to Google Translate and go from Arabic to English and translate the story as I have done here okay so if I said something about the prophet that wasn't untrue would that make according to your understanding because they said Noah was a drunk that makes it untrue chose for me to live my life when he was worse than the common people around him so I knew something was wrong with this message and I understood that the Bible was not the correct source. Well, it seems here like Muhammad is being worse than the common people around him. And if the people around him did this, then they were immoral too. Having sex with young girls? Having sex with your dead aunt? This is filthy. This is beyond filthy. Stay tuned for the coming video. Jesus is Lord. Islam is stupid. And I've proved this, and I will continue to prove this. Amen.